Pancakes. Whenever I see dried squid, I think of you. <laughs> Look at all these breads. I'm getting tired. <laughs> dried fish neck. I play good music here. <laughs> We're at the Korean grocery store. Annyeonghaseyo. I'm ready. Pink pineapple, $11.99. I bought one for $30 online once, so this is a steal. Love a Korean pear called Pe. Just need some lettuce. My favorite lettuce. Look at this thing of oyster mushrooms. I've never tried, but they look cute. Oh, they have my favorite udon back. My go-to comfort meal. Tempura udon kit, so good. When it's cold out, oh, I missed her. <laughs> they never have them. It's mm -hmm. probably because I eat them all. This is clam flavor kalguksu. Mm -hmm. That's a knife cut noodle. I love a soup. Seafood spicy noodle soup. To get your probiotics in, Ia Colt. It's like a delicious yogurt drink. They're really good. Honestly, I'm gonna get these for Cal. Growing body. <laughs> they have an almond milk Ia Colt. Oh my God, yokels. Is that an Asian thing or do other people have that too? Oh, we have like the animals. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Scallions, but they've got a little onion at the bottom. I'm gonna try. It's a little tofu soup kit. Ooh. It's not spicy. I, I think you'd like it. it. It's really good. You can add like egg, vegetables, any meat that you want. Ooh. Do you want it? Yeah. Okay, I'll get you that. People mix the silken tofu with cocoa powder and make it into pudding. I wanna try. Calamari. Salmon head. Hello, sir. There's so much here. Look at these chicken wings, they're huge. I've looked for this everywhere. This Chinese sausage. You can put in like fried rice and anything of eggs. <laughs> Dried fish neck. I have so many memories of the dry squid. I would go to my aunt's house and my mom and all of her friends would make this and it just like the whole house smelled like dried squid. So I have so many nostalgic feelings about it. I forget what it's called. Do the research, people. She might be playing tennis. Suze. Suze? Hello. Hey girly, what's the dried squid in Korean called? Oljingo. Oh, Oljingo, oh, that's right. I'm at the aisle. Whenever I see dried squid, I think of you. <laughs> Look at all these breads. Pancakes. Dora yucky. I have to say. I'm not a red bean girl. No red beans for me. These also remind me of my childhood. The jelly? They're jellies, yeah, they're so good. If you keep them in the fridge too, they're cold. Also my childhood. And these! These are better than Otter Pops. Pass it on. So we're in the side dish section. When you go to Korean barbecue and you get like 20 side dishes. Those are called panchan, which are all of these and you can get a variety of things. My personal favorite, seasoned dried radish. It's so good. It's like crunchy and not too sour and delicious. I like good music here. <laughs> Mozzarella cheese filled the hooky. Ah, I've actually already tried it, it's good. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> My whiteness is showing. Um, of all things, the cracker. <laughs> Fish cake bar. I don't have enough freezer room for all of this, but with we'll your come four back. Fridges. If you guys want a part two, let me know. Yeah, with my four fridges. <laughs> they made that at Trader Joe's now. Oh, did they? Yeah. I've made my selection. I'm gonna do a blind taste test of these versus Trader Joe's. These are gonna be better, I'm sure. These also are my favorite. When I go to church, they give these to me in a cup. They're like a little seafoody cracker. They're really like umami. We're here at 9 a.m. <laughs> Fresh wasabi. What? I've never seen it at a grocery store. Mm. I go through salmon sashimi like it's no one's business. And a spring roll. Ooh. Or I bought a shabu shabu pot so I can make this in shabu shabu. I'm gonna do that tonight. This is my favorite thing I ever tried when I went to Korea. It's similar to like a Sprite, but I think it's way better than a Sprite. And they have peach, grape, looks like orange maybe. Like I need some more of these. When you wanna do duo sauces. Mm. Just got these the other day so that I can make my own little buns at home. I'm getting tired. You did that with spam last time we were here. <laughs> oh, spam, I need spam. Okay, she needs spam. Da, da, uh, okay. Da. I'm telling you, I need it. I guess. I'm gonna keep it in my pantry and make it all the time. I'll eat like a pack a day. They're so good. They're like a hargao essentially, like a shrimp chewy dumpling. They're so good. Giant rice paper for my spring roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love condensed milk. I'm gonna have one just in case. I could eat it with a spoon. They're like potato chip snacks. Kind of like fries almost. Oh. Mochi sea salt snack bite. That's Ooh. Fun. <gasps> Ramen snack. I gotta try these. This has become my new favorite brand. I'm obsessed with this brand. This one's my favorite. The carbonara is so good. I found Hello Kitty crackers for the office as well as I'm gonna get some Pocky to put there for everyone. I love Pocky. You can't go wrong. Honestly, I'm more of a strawberry girl, but I feel like more people like chocolate, but either work. All right, gonna get someone for Cal. <gasps> he loves chocolate. Hello Panda. The cart ran away.
guys, welcome home. We are going to do our Korean grocery store haul now. All right, bag number one. I got a plethora of things, things that I just needed to replenish my fridge with, and then also just things that I wanted to try. First up, in no order, we got spring mix. As you saw, I just need lettuce for salads as well as some romaine lettuce because I like to make spring rolls and I had none of this yesterday and I wanted some, so romaine lettuce. I saw these giant onions. These are like a green onion and a regular onion hybrid. I have no idea, but I wanna try them and cook with them and they smell good. I feel like they'll be less strong than a regular onion, but we will see. I'll keep you updated on that front. Check out the vlog channel, I'll cook with them there. I got these little mushrooms. These are fresh brown shimeji mushrooms. How cute are these? These are for wit. Two Korean pears. I like eating these as a snack. I love when they're ice cold. And I also like eating them with randomly enough like beef. I know that sounds really weird, but like Korean barbecue beef with Korean pear. It just adds like a nice light refreshing crispness and sweetness to the heavier meat. It's amazing. If you haven't tried it, you should try it. It's actually very good. I got three of these little sauce containers because I'm always making, whether it's like Korean barbecue or sushi or pretty much anything, like even spring rolls, I could put like hoisin on one side and like chili sauce on the other. Whenever you need to, some peanut butter and jelly, some salt and some pepper, whatever you need, you can have them split. I'll use them a lot. Next, I got some crackery snacks. I got these adorable little Hello Kitty crackers. Crackers. These are gonna go in the office. I just thought they were really cute. I'm gonna be honest, these ones don't taste very good, but they're adorable and they're Hello Kitty, so I had to get it. And they're shaped like little Hello Kitty bows. So cute. Then I got for more snacks, Mochi Sea Salt Snack Bites. I gotta try these. Apparently you can use them as like cracker or a crouton. Oh, they're like little baby mochi bites. Whoa. I don't know how to feel. I think that they taste like a rice cracker. Aftertaste is delicious. I think they're a little too salty, but they would make really good like salad croutons if you mix it with something else. I got a can of sweetened condensed milk just because I wanna have this on hand and I would like to eat this with a spoon on its own. Chocolate Hello Panda crackers. You can't go wrong with these. It's like a cookie on the outside with like a chocolate filling. They're amazing. To die for. I got seven of these dumplings. I know Joke have eaten like 20 of these already in my lifetime. They are so delicious. They are the pillow shrimp hakao. I'm not quite sure, but they basically are like a little shrimp dumpling with like a tapioca chewy outside and then a shrimp inside. I just throw them in the microwave or the steamer. They're like the perfect snack when I'm hungry, but not too hungry. And overall, I just love anything shrimpy. I'll eat these with like a chili crunch or chili oil or on their own. I just love them so much. Oh my God, I did not know. This is the best brand of spring roll wrappers or rice paper, by the way. I normally get them on Amazon, but I had no idea that they made them this large. So when I'm feeling large and in charge and I want to make big spring rolls, or maybe, you know, like people love to wrap things up in rice paper now and fry them, like maybe like a salmon bomb, I think that's what they're called. So these are fantastic for that. I just love that I have like a burrito size now and I will be using these, I'm sure very often. As I told you guys at the store, this is my favorite brand of ramen right now. I love, I used to love Nongshim. I do love like a Shin Ramen, a Shin Ramen Black, but these are just really fun and I'm very into them right now, especially because I've had like a hundred Shin Ramyuns in my life and I wanted something different. This brand is Samyang. This is their snack one. It's a ramen snack. I don't know about you guys, but growing up, my favorite snack was eating just Sapporo Ichiban ramen plain with the seasoning packet in a bag. You crush it up and you eat it so good. So I feel like this is an elevated version of that. I think they're gonna be spicy because this brand is known for doing those fire noodles and being extremely spicy. So I usually only do a little bit of the seasoning, but I'm excited to try these. Next, we got the sweet cinnamon hot duck. These are Korean style pancakes filled with a gooey cinnamon filling. Uh, yes, please. Anything sweet and cinnamony like a Cinnabon, I am here for. And as I said, I'm excited to try these versus the Trader Joe's ones because Trader Joe's has been making a lot of Korean foods. And while I think it's great that so many more people are able to try so many awesome dishes and things now, I do feel like they always fall a little flat to the actual Korean things. Like I tried the Trader Joe's tteokbokki and while it was good, I think that Korean, whether you make it at home or even like a Korean brand's pre-made one, I think tastes better. So I'm excited to try and see how those compare. I got two containers of salmon sashimi because I will eat this plain, I will eat this in a spring roll, I will eat this in sushi, I will eat this on a train, I'll eat this on a plane, I'll eat this in a boat, I'll eat this in a moat. Next, I got my favorite packages. Actually, to be honest, this is my second favorite. There is a brand that I like more, but they don't make them very often or they're usually not at the grocery store, but when I find them, I buy them out. The packaging is usually like a yellow 
brand, but this will do just as well. These are the tempura udon kits. I love these so much. Basically, it just comes with like the little dried vegetables, the tempura, the noodles, and the soup base. And when you're hungry and are craving something warm, I will make this for myself. Or if I had a bad day, girl. If I had a bad day and I want something just like cozy for the soul, I will have one of these. I will add often eggs, fish cake, shrimp, whatever I have, I'll throw that in there, but always an egg. I also got two packages of silken tofu because I like tofu in general. I will put this in sundubu, which is spicy tofu soup. And then also I saw that people were blending silken tofu and making chocolate puddings. And I wanna try that because I think I would very much like that. I also got a medium sized jar of kimchi. I will say it already smells pungent. Growing up, my parents had a full separate fridge just for or kimchi and any sort of like side dishes that would normally smell up the regular fridge. My mom actually puts ours and like she double bags it in like giant Ziplocs. So I'm gonna do that as well and put this outside. I'm gonna make kimchi jjigae, which is a kimchi stew. You can make kimchi pancakes, you can eat it plain. There is a lot of good probiotics in this. So if you guys are looking for something to help with your gut, this is a great thing to eat and it's delicious also. Next, I found these. This is the Cooktalk Neutro. I have no idea, but basically it's like tteokbokki, which are spicy rice cakes, but in noodle form. And I wanted to try this for TikTok. So go check out my TikTok. If you haven't already, link down below, Miss Remy Ashton. I'm gonna do a full little TikTok of trying to cook these and seeing how they taste, but it looks fun and I'm very excited and I love anything duck cookie. Last bag, we got hockey, again for the office. I got my favorite panchan, which is the seasoned dried radish, as I showed you guys. These are so delicious and crunchy and go well with pretty much everything. I got the fish cake stick because I absolutely have to try. It's 120. 26.5 calories. I'm so glad that they are so specific. We've got another tempura udon kit. I got a jjampong kit, which this is a spicy seafood Korean stew, and this is delicious. I also crave this on a cold day. It's just so like spicy and savory and just so good overall. I got some Yakult for Cal because he's been very into prebiotic drinks, so got him that, taking care of his health. I got my almond Yakult drinks right here. I'm excited. Actually, you know what? I wanna try one right now. I'm curious if it's gonna have like that like yogurty flavor. And fun fact, this is how you do it. You shake it up and then you take your your fingernail and you poke two holes on it, one on either side, because if you only poke one, the air won't release the drink, it's hard to drink it, but if you poke one on each side like so, then it has air to flow out. Oh my God, that's actually delicious. It tastes like creamy almond milk. It's not as sour as the other drinks are. It's actually really nice, and I feel like this would be good also if you add it to like a smoothie. It's got real almonds, live and active cultures, good for the gut. This is the best tasting one I've had so far. I still really like that sour yogurty flavor, but this is really good. Wow, I would buy that again. Then I got my Chinese style sausage. As I said, I've been wanting to buy this for so long. I see so many people on TikTok when they're hungover in the morning making like fried rice with this or eating it with like eggs or I don't know, so many delicious dishes and it just looks so crispy and yummy when you fry it up and I can't wait. I got some sliced chicken thighs. I got some sliced pork belly. This is gonna go in the kimchi jjigae. This is just to have because I love chicken. And then last at least I just got some soon tofu which this is the brand and the exact like log that I grew up with like my mom always had like seven of these in the fridge at one time and it's really easy you just chop into it it's really soft tofu and you can just squeeze it into your soup or whatever it is that you're making and then to go with that I got some tofu soup seasoning it's just a little spicy packet but you add this to some water add in your tofu you can crack in an egg put in some vegetables and you've got sundubu which is spicy tofu soup as I said so that is my haul of everything I got at the Korean Korean store today. I go to the Korean grocery store like every couple weeks or so. So if you want more, let me know. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!